My name is Aaron Meyer. I'm from Switzerland, from Zurich, and I'm doing the MA in Fashion Image. I grew up in Zurich, so in a, a little bit of a conservative uh, background. There wasn't a lot of fashion, but for me it was always a dream to work in that field. So after my high school, I decided to move to Amsterdam, uh, which is the other part of my nationality. I'm half Dutch. And there it was the first time I got in touch with like, uh, a lot of creative people. And after that, after four years of studying there, I moved back to Zurich to work at, for two years in an advertising agency. And after I had enough of that again, uh, I moved to Paris to study at IFM. I think one of the main reasons I chose IFM was because of the network that you can get out of it. Uh, coming from a different country, it's super hard to uh, get into a new city and meet people. And here you really have this sort of kickstart of meeting people super fast and also super big industry leaders. So that was definitely one of the main aspects that I wanted to uh, enjoy at IFM. Um, but of course, also uh, having just the time to uh, explore your work, to work with different people from around the world, and especially in image where you have a lot of different projects in the beginning, uh, you can explore a lot of different sides of yourself. And that was really cool. The image pathway is really different from the other pathways because we get to do a lot of different types of projects. So you go from uh, photography, art direction, video art direction to runway shows, set design, magazines. So. Uh, you get to explore a lot of different aspects to art direction. For me, what was actually surprising was that I uh, liked the workshops the most that I thought I wouldn't like. For example, uh, we did a very small workshop uh, collaging and I usually work more digital and I'm very uh, versed in all of the different Adobe programs, but it was fir like for the first time in a long time where I worked with my hands and I sort of discovered a whole new aspect to my work and my creative vision. So that was one that I really enjoyed. And another project that I really liked was a collaboration we did with Adidas. So Adidas wanted to launch a new Stan Smith and we were asked to do a video project for them. And we worked together with uh, Antoine Asseraf, who's a video director here in uh, Paris. And we got to do a whole social media campaign and in the end also present the video to Adidas. So that was a super nice experience as well. And that is also what makes IFM special is that they have these connections to brands. So you get to have this real life experience. In the second year, uh, after exploring all these different um, pathways and different types of art direction, you get to choose sort of what you want to focus on. And for me, I really love digital media and I'm always on the lookout for sort of what is happening in the fashion world. And in the beginning of the year, there was a little bit of a talk about the metaverse, about crypto, NFTs, and what the role of fashion will be in that world. And for me, there was really like a moment for me to decide, okay, I can learn a new uh, skill, I can dive into a new topic something that I'm not familiar with and I have a, like half a year to just dive in deep. So uh, I chose to focus on the metaverse and fashion in the metaverse. Uh, and I chose to do a digital magazine for the metaverse. <laughs> and uh, I do different types of projects uh, from video to photography, 3D, and all sort of mixed together in one digital uh, platform. In the first year, you really uh, sort of learn how to navigate the fashion world in Paris a little bit. The teachers also help a lot to be proactive and reach out to people. And they really encourage you to collaborate with different creatives in Paris. So uh, I really learned in the first year to reach out to all people who are involved in fashion image. So from hairstylists to makeup to videographers, photographers, set designers, stylists. And you might think that you have to do everything yourself, but in the second year, you really have to learn to also give jobs to other people because you cannot do the whole project by yourself. So that's something that is uh, super cool that uh, in the first year, you have the sort of base to know who's around, who to contact, how to contact them. 
and then in the second year it can uh, take full, of, full advantage of your little network that you have. Moving here, I thought that maybe Paris fashion scene would be a little bit close-minded, uh, very much sticking to their own, but I really felt like in the last year, or I also talked to a few people, is that the fashion scene is opening up, they're opening themselves up to new voices and more international mindset. French people speak actually better English than I thought. Uh, you have uh, people from all around the world with a lot of different backgrounds. Uh, some don't even come from fashion, some come from fashion, some have no work experience, some do. And you really uh, get to work uh, with a lot of different types of people and that's also how you learn to be a better creative. I think it's really important to know is that you don't have to come from fashion or from image. You just have to have an interest and a sort of talent for it. So when you apply, for example, they also told me that you can also submit mood boards or things that inspire you, films, photography, what are your references? Because that's where they can also see your talent if you don't have photography or graphic design skills. Thank you.